So you need to extrude and move. Not a problem. Extrude move is similar to extrude. If you left click an edge, you can drag a new edge out. If you hold control, you'll be able to start to drag out extra segments. The earlier you hold control, the smaller the segments will be. By default, you'll drag out a single edge, but with edge loop, you'll drag out the whole edge. And with poly loop, you'll drag out the entire loop around the object. This will let you extrude from a single hole in the object, but when you set things to mesh border, it will extrude from every hole in the object. While in default mode, you can access the other modes by tapping all if you left click and tap alt while grabbing an edge, you will switch to edge loop. And if you hold alt from there, you'll switch to poly loop. And poly loop does the exact opposite. If you tap alt while grabbing an edge, it will switch to poly group. And if you hold alt from there, you will switch to edge loop. Single row means you will extrude a single edge when left clicking. If you set num rows to five and then left click, you will drag five segments out instead of one. If you are set to row size, you will expand repeating segments depending on the size that you set. The smaller the number, the more segments you'll get. I've never needed to adjust free to move or force symmetrical, but smart attraction just means the ability to snap to another edge when you get close. If you turn it off, things won't snap together anymore. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.